I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question which involves area of an isosceles triangle with encircled. Now the question here is, determine the area of an isosceles triangle that encloses a circle of radius r as shown in the figure. Now what is important here to understand is that there is a circle inscribed in a triangle and what we are assuming is that that circle just fits in. Now that means we have an in circle here within a particular triangle, correct? So we are taking a case where we have in circle. That means a circle inside a triangle, right? So inside a triangle. So perfectly fitting inside a triangle. Now as you know, you can always get an in circle inscribed in any triangle. The idea is if you have the right by if you have the bisectors of the angles of the vertices. So if I have the bisector of this angle and the bisector of the other angle, wherever these bisectors meet, and if I have bisector of the third angle, right, so they meet at a point, and this point helps us to make a circle inside a triangle, and that is how we get in circle correct so that's the strategy so basically in general if we have a circle inside a triangle then the triangle is scalian now we are considering special cases in this video i'm taking up isosceles triangle in the next video i'll take up equilateral triangle right so let us say this is an isosceles triangle where the base angles are same for us which are 65 degrees and 65 degrees as shown and we are taking a general radius of r so that means this much radius it is better if i could draw the if i extend this line let me extend this line down it should meet in the center can you tell me why well this is a very special case we have an isosceles triangle so when these two angles are equal if I'm dividing this angle, then we'll have two congruent triangles, correct? So in a congruent triangle, all these angles, since this angle is equal to that angle, we already have 90 degrees, right? Now, so these are exactly congruent triangles with common base, I mean the common side. So congruent triangles mean that these two sides will be equal, is it okay? So, so the base is cut into half. So the bisector of the angle is also right bisector. So let me call this as a right bisector. So, so right bisector is the perpendicular in this particular. This is a special case, right? Okay, so if I extend this, that means the same line which bisected the angle above actually bisects the opposite side also and is perpendicular to that particular side. So when you have this kind of a scenario, which is only in the case of isosceles triangle or in uh, or an equilateral triangle, right? So we'll take up equilateral triangle in the next video. So here we have isosceles triangle where the base angles are same. 65 degrees we have just taken at random. Okay, now, now this is the radius. Let me call this as R as the radius. We need to find area of the triangle. Let me label this triangle as A, B and C and the right bisector which also angle bisector and which is also the altitude of this particular triangle is C, D. So what is the area of this triangle? Now area of this triangle, let's say area of triangle A, B, C is equals to half of base which is A, B I mean AB right so times times the altitude which is CD right so that is what the area of this triangle is now to find area of this triangle we should find both the base and the altitude we can use the angles given and find it out let us find first what is AD equals to right so we'll do we'll find both base and altitude to find AD, we know this is the right bisector since we have in center, right? So we are doing the 
ap applying the theorem which we just learned now so that means these angles are equal so the angle here is half of 65 the angle this angle is half of 65 let me write this outside as 65 divided by 2 right so that is 32.5 degrees correct so in a right triangle let me say O is the center of in circle in that case we are considering the triangle AOD so we are considering the triangle AOD to find AD we know R the radius of the circle we can use tan so we have tan of half of 65 which is 32.5 degrees is equals to opposite side R over AD so AD is equals to R divided by tan of 32.5 degrees correct so we'll find this angle now let's first find this okay that's fine so r divided by tan of so 1 divided by tan of 32.5 is equals to 1.5696 okay that's complicated so it is 1.5696 so that becomes this side ad now from AD we can actually find CD again using angle 65 correct so now let us consider the triangle ACD ACD right in this right triangle CD and AD are related with tan of 65 so we'll say tan of 65 degrees is equals to CD divided by AD okay so CD is equals to AD times tan of 65 degrees. So we already have CD in terms of R. Well, this is times R. Okay. So, so we have AD times tan of 65. AD is 1.5696R. So we have that number here. We'll multiply that by tan of 65. Okay. So we'll do um, we can do times tan of 65 equals to 3.3662 okay so we get 3.3662 and r right since since ad is equals to 1.5696r right so we substituted this value here, right and then multiplied by tan of 65 to get the value 3.3662 r right so we got both in terms of r now we can find the area of triangle correct so I missed one step I should have written here that value then multiplied but I hope you understand okay so the area of the triangle let's say area of the triangle ACB or ABC is equals to half of AB which is AD right half of AB times CD which is half of AB is AD so let me write AD times CD and we know what AD is 1.5696 R times CD which is 3.3662 R right so let me put it in brackets so we'll just multiply these two numbers and get the value in terms of R. So we'll multiply this by 1.5696 equals to. So we get 5.2835 R square. Is that okay? So that is how we can find area of an isosceles triangle given the angles and the radius. Now as an exercise what you can do is uh, find area. So let me extend this question we can say find area of triangle if r the radius is equals to 2 centimeters right so you can just substitute 2 here for r so as a special case we can say area of that triangle will be equals to 5.2835 times 2 square right which is 4 so we can multiply this by 4 times 4 equals 2 so we get approximately 
centimeter square in that particular case right so you can then solve if you are if you know the value of r but what we have here is a general expression in terms of r which can now be used for any value of r correct so that is how you can actually combine trigonometry which you've learned with coordinate geometry which you learn that is the angle bisectors of a triangle intersect at a point which is equidistant from all the three sides of a triangle correct so so what we know here is that this i mean sorry this distance which is kind of like this is equal correct so these distances are equal that means you can have a center o which can form a circle with radius r touching all sides of a triangle so in this special case we consider an isosceles triangle and now in the next video we'll take up an equilateral triangle i hope that helps thank you and all the best